Hello everyone, this is uh, Pedro again from Pytalista with one more video, a quick one to teach you how to install PyEnv. So the reason I use PyEnv is because it's much easier to manage Python environments, Python versions, because Python is every year or so are issuing new versions and then it's uh, I don't recommend you to go and download and install. Uh, it's very hard to just like wipe out a version of Python and installing a new one. So I found out the best way to do it is use uh, it's to use PyEnv, and I'll show you like how to install it. It's pretty quick, and then I'll demonstrate quickly how to use it. So let's get started. So first, uh, let me pull the. Um, commands here that I will run in the shell. So I'll pause the video while if it takes too long, but I will show you step by step how to do it. So I'm using here uh, WSL. And, uh, it's, it's in Windows, but I'm running uh, Linux here. So I'm just going to teach you how to install in, in Linux, which can work in any virtual machine uh, that you are working for. So so first, uh, let me just, um, because it's, uh, I've just installed this shell here, uh, I'll first do a update, which is sudo apt update. Let's do the uh, password here. I think I have it. Yeah. So it's, in, it's updating now. I'll pause the video. Yeah, it installed quickly. So now that, um, this one is upgraded. Let's sorry, updated. Let's upgrade as well. So it's sudo apt upgrade. So yes, that may take a little bit longer. Okay, it's finished. Yeah. Okay, now that we've done this part of upgraded, I'll install some dependencies um, that will be required. And there is a bunch of them, but uh, let me just, I'll put um, a link to my GitHub with all these installation there for my channel. So I'm just gonna paste a whole bunch of, um, it is I'm installing here. I'm installing uh, build essentials curl, all those things that I will use. Uh, it's a requirement from that I will need in virtual machine, and also it's a requirement uh, for my development and for the PyEnv as well. Let's click here, and then I'll say yes, and then now it's gonna install. Okay, finally, finally, finally finished. So now that we've got all the dependencies and it's all installed, uh, you need to just, uh, I'll show you um, a very good website where uh, I got this one from. Let me just minimize this terminal here. Uh, and then I'll bring uh, from the bottom here of my screen. So this website is pretty good. It's uh, It was a PyCon uh, that this guy here, I forgot his name, uh, Witowski. So, and then he, here's the installation. So pretty much it's just one line, which is, I'll copy here and paste in my terminal. So I'll, I'll leave the uh, in the description of the video uh, the link to this website. So it's pretty much curl and then you do a HTTPS and pipe to bash and then you go. And then that's gonna install pyenv. And then at the end of the installation, we'll ask you to run some commands uh, in the shell, can you see here, to just add some stuff to your bash RC. Um, so you have to copy this one, which is uh, export. Yeah, we do export this environment variable. Um, 
Uh, I think you have to add those things to your bash RC. So what I'm going to do is, oh yeah. Okay, I, I create this environment variable, but I think I, I think you need to do something permanent on your shell. So the best thing to do is I'm just going to open my bash RC file now and edit. I'm just going to use vim, which is vim bash RC. And then at the end, uh, I'm just going to press I for insert. And then I'm going to copy this. I had some issues with WSL. And then in the end, I did a lot of Google. And then what you need to add to your Bash RC is this code here. Uh, so the Bash RC file, if you don't know, is, is a file that runs and loads every time that you uh, start a new uh, shell session. So what you're going to add here is you're going to create this uh, environmental variable here. Um, these two here just to add something to the path and then you have to this pyenv dev node here to make sure that pyenv loads correctly once you start shell okay with that we should be good to go okay i'm just gonna do a colon x to exit and save at the same time so let's just check if pyenv is here. I think yeah, if I do pyenv, I think I need to restart the shell. Let's do, uh, let's see if this one works. Yeah, it's installed. So the way you install pyenv is pretty easy. So first you have to, like, I need to install a Python version. So the way you find out what are the available Python versions, you do a pyenv, and then you put install, and then you do a dash dash list. And then that's going to show all the versions that you have to, uh, you can install. What I usually do is um, they've just released the, they have mini Conda, Anaconda and everything. So you, you can at the same time have Anaconda and Python and lots of versions. So the one that I'm going to install here is the 3.11.0 that's just been uh, available and it's one that's been 20, 30% faster than 3.10. So to install is pretty easy. So I go here, take a little bit, but not long, maybe easier, much faster than you have to download from, um, from the website or install an Anaconda. Sometimes it's heavy on your computer, so it's pretty easy. So for example, if I want to install the 3.11.0, we just do a pyenv, and then you do install, and then you do 3.11.0. And then that should be it. And then that's gonna just get the tarball and from the python.org and then install on your machine. So I'll pause now and then I resume when it's finished. Okay, okay. Now it's uh, Python install. To check the version that you have installed, you have to um, just use the command pyenv and then you do versions with s and then it's gonna show in like i have the system that's here but i have 3.11 so if i do python uh okay i think the system one it's it's a linux one let's put python 3. so i have like this system came with the this is this the windows or the Linux Ubuntu 22.4, I think. And it comes with 3.10.6, which is the system one. Let's get out of this shell session. But if I put Python, not Python, I put um, pyenv uh, versions. 
so there is a way to set my default one can you see that default one has got this little asterisk here to make like 3.11.0 as my default or my global version i just do pi m and then global and then the name of the version that i want to make it global and then when i start with that if i do python versions again and now 3.11 is my default one if i do python i don't think i need three here yeah i have got the 3.11.0 and then i have the latest version here if i need a new version i keep i can keep on adding as many versions as i want i just do uh, as i did before i do a pot pi env install and then the name of the version yeah i think that's it folks um there is nothing and then once i have that one if i wanted to create a um, a virtual environment which i will do another video for that because and i'll, I'll tell you how i'll teach you how to do it using pyenv but this one is already over 10 minutes thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like um and click the the bell that you will receive notifications thank you very much